Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connie here from Menu Docs, and welcome back to a new video on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be making that eval command. Now, just before I get into this video, I just want to say that this command should only be locked to you because it is an extremely dangerous thing. People can get your bot token, they can set intervals, they can set loops and all these kinds of stuff and basically it could end up with you getting api banned guilds losing complete members because you can loop it and ban members from discords you can do so much with this thing it's basically the code without the code you just input it and then it does it straight away so what i've done here is i've made a constant of my owner id it will be put in the bot config um, for the next video so the first thing we want to do is obviously lock this so we want to check the message author's id is equal to the owner id and if it is equal we want to open this up and then we want to have else bam and then we want to return message dot channel uh dot send or we could realistically do reply and then we'll do you don't have permission to use this command and then we can delete it um sorry i forgot to add the dot there we can do dot then and then m delete and then we can do that after 10 seconds and after 10 seconds it will delete that message now we're going to use a try catch if you've never used a try catch before um it's probably the best to google it because it is extremely helpful especially in javascript so uh the way i'm going to set it out and i like setting it out is like this and then we're going to have two lexical definitions just here so we're going to do let to eval equal args dot join and then space in between add a semicolon if you're feeling lucky and then evaluated valuated if i can spell it correctly is equal to now we're going to use a module up here in which um is basically going to clean up the code a little bit so we're going to add eval in here and then we're going to have more brackets and then we're going to do two eval we're going to add a comma because we want to add some options and then we want to add depth is equal to zero or not equal to zero depth is zero and then we can add space there just to add some cleanliness uh what i want to mention is with something like this uh we're requiring a whole module to just do one thing you can just get rid of this and then you can open up some curly braces here and just do inspect and then that will just require that one part of the module now inside this try catch the first thing you want to do is you want to do uh you want to check if the args are given and if not you want to return a message saying message.channel.send uh probably something along the lines of error whilst evaluating or error while evaluating and then you probably want to say you can't you cannot evaluate air um that's probably something cool to respond and then we want to add else in here now i've skipped ahead here i opened up the try catch and i forgot to add a message for the error here so what we want to do is we want to do mess let's not do it in capitals we want to do message.channel.send and then we want to respond with error whilst evaluating and then you want to just basically um, add a backslash so that um, it ignores the template literal here so it just embeds it like a syntax and then we want to add just the error message in here now if you guys see up here i passed e which is basically the variable we've passed through here um, and that will be error dot message and it will only send the error message um, but yeah the first thing we're going to do here is actually to keep it clean we should probably switch this around so um, we should make this so this is true and then we'll put this down here uh, the way the why blah, 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 if I can English quickly uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I did it here so this is the main code so we're checking if this is true and then the false is down here so we might as well um copy this throughout the code instead of you know not having consistency so the thing we want to do here is we probably want to require or more like um define a uh, thing that you guys have probably never seen before it's a process 
our time and then we will make that a function and then we want to do let uh our and then diff equal uh, not equal sorry i probably just want to leave that empty um if you guys don't know lexical definitions you can redefine them or uh, reassign um what they are so that's why i'm leaving that empty and then we're going to do our diff equals process um process and then process dot our time and then we probably want to put our start in there now basically what we're going to do is this will be the eval code so this will be the message that is responded in channel so we want to add template literals we're going to do executed executed in our diff and then we want to pull the first input from there uh, is so we want to look the the first thing is equal to oh sorry we want to look for our diff the first entry in that is higher than zero or greater than zero and then we're going to use a tenary operator if you guys have never used one of these guys before then uh, i suggest you get on top of it so we want to add that and then we will do our diff and then zero and we want to go outside oh outside that and then do that and then we want to add um i forgot what that's called actually so is it just a colon is that is that what it's called i think that might just be what it's called right so now that we've done that um we probably want to oh no this has gone too far this right here this should be on the other side of this right here so now that that's done we want to open it up again i'm going to do our diff <clears throat> and now for the first time we're looking for the first guy here i'm um, sorry the second guy and then we want to do divided by i think that's six zeros there and then go outside of that and type ms we also want to add a full stop and another um, asterisk here so that it uh, puts it on italics. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add one, two, three of these guys so that it chat embeds. We want to make it so it displays it as JavaScript code. We want to add another new line. And then after that, we want to put evaluated in here. And then we want to go to the next line, sorry. And then we want to pull out three of these bad boys again. That's four. And then we're going to add a option here uh, for message. So if you guys don't know what message options are, um, just go on the docs and just look up message type or message options. It would be something like that. And then once that is all done that looks like the code is complete we'll just hit save so the bot has been started up and we'll go in here um i have done this before except from the recording stopped itself which was fun so you can do eval bot dot username oh there should be another uh put that in wrong there should be not one of these guys here but one of these guys so new line I'm gonna have to restart this because I do not have Nodemon installed. Which, by the way, guys, if you don't have Nodemon installed, um, if you're just developing the bot, it's probably something you should do. You should in, in, uh, install Nodemon uh, just for dev purposes, not for actually um, maintaining or having the bot up. Um, but yeah, that's what it's gonna return as. It's gonna say it evaluated in X. And um, at the start of the video, I obviously told you that um you can create an interval and it can um obviously if it happens too often it can abuse the api or it can be used to obviously ban members or spam members all that kind of stuff i'm just going to show you that uh, you can have an interval i'm going to turn off the bot after this um just because um the interval will keep going and going until the bot either uh, the code restarts or it re uh, restarts itself um, stuff like that. So we're going to do that and it's going to show us all this timeout stuff and then it's going to say hello and then one, two, three, four, five, and then it should come roughly after five. 
and um, we're just going to turn the bot off now just because we don't want it to continue saying hello but anyways guys that has been the tutorial for today um, obviously we didn't use any of this stuff so we can just get rid of it um, I was going to put the embed rather I was going to put the um, return message in an embed so that's why I retired the I um, required the colors module um, but anyways guys thank you so much for watching this has been Connor here from menu docs and I hope you guys are excited for the next video because the next video we are going to basically tear the whole bot apart and we're going to add a new command handler in a new event hand uh, handler in and then we're also going to reduce this to just 10 lines.